guys, it's Tamir from Microvillain. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you a couple of workflows in our staircase library here. So what I'm going to do is come to my product prompts and just click on the staircase right here. So this is a U-shaped closed stringer. So what I have on my main tab here is I've got a floor to floor height. So I can go ahead and adjust that. Got top nosing, bottom rise, got all my different stair widths here. Got my total tread quantity, my going and my out step width. And the construction, got a few other options here in regards to the construction of the step, pitch line setback, top nosing width, overhangs, radiuses and build ups. And the bull nose options here, I can simply click on this drop down here and choose different bull nose options that I want. In this case here I'm going to go to a left single D step. And over here I've got uh, different options for my stairwell. So I can go between walls, I can draw in the stairwell if I want to. Any different options down in here, including the steer well top width, which we're going to set to 900. Scrolling down a little bit more here, we've got our wall thicknesses and different overhangs right within here. Winder options, so we can choose a winder corner option, so we can go from wall, from stringer, or from a post. And we've got different winder options, platform options, and these drop downs as well. And here we've got different joins, so we can adjust different joins and cut options here. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to get, go ahead and hit OK and we're just going to let this draw out. So while it's doing this here we've got many other steer locations which we're going to touch on uh, very soon. You can see that we're numbering all of the stairs. It's also possible to have it construct all of the plans all automatically for you and even price for steer. You can see it's gone ahead and changed this width up here to 900, so if we just um, hold down shift and pan around we can look around and see exactly what's going on here. So here you'll notice that we've got a keyway join joining these together. Up underneath the stairs here we've actually got a wedge cut in here, so it's taking care of all of that for you. And down the bottom here we had that D, D corner there. Okay, so this is this one staircase here, so we've got another couple of um, construction options available to us. So this one here is sort of similar, but you'll notice that the actual step sits, sits on the stringer. So this is a cut stringer. Again, okay, last but not least, the other one that we're looking at over here is um, an open stringer. Yeah, so what this is doing, if I just click on here, you can see we're rebating that whole end out there. So what we'll do now is we'll just quickly jump over to our composite drawings. So over here you can see I've actually got my stringers all nested, all ready to cut on your CNC. You can see the wedge cut in here, it's allowed for all of that. And also your keyway join up here too. And here I've got that other stringer which we looked at just before as well when the step sits on top of the stringer itself. Thank you for watching.